Do you know what's happening with coal in Alberta? There's been some sweeping changes that have left some people scratching their heads. Today, we're going to go back to the basics to answer some of those burning questions Albertans have about the resource stirring up controversy. Alberta is indeed phasing out coal power. The province is on track to close its last coal-fired power plant by 2023. But we're talking about a different kind of coal here, used to make steel. And the plan is to export this coal, largely to Asian markets. British Columbia has been doing this for years, and coal is that province's top export. So Alberta is now looking to mine more coal from the mountains on this side of the border. Back in 1976, Premier Peter Lougheed introduced a coal development policy for Alberta, banning open pit mines across wide swaths of the Rockies and foothills. But the UCP government killed that policy in 2020, and that ban has been lifted across a landmass the size of Jamaica. Now, coal companies are ramping up exploration in areas that used to be off limits, known as Category 2 lands under the old policy. And you'll still hear that term used a lot, especially from people worried about the loss of protection in these areas. This is another term you'll hear a lot, but it can be confusing. There are hundreds of coal leases scattered throughout Alberta, and many have been in place for years, even decades. But having a lease doesn't mean you can start mining right away. Companies still need to apply for a license if they want to do coal exploration, and there is a regulatory process to go through before opening a mine. There's been a renewed interest, thanks in large part, to country musicians. Corb Lund, Paul Brandt, and Terry Clark have all taken up the cause, raising concerns about damage to the environment and ranching operations in the Rockies and foothills. In response to the opposition, the government has backtracked slightly, cancelling 11 new leases it had issued in southern Alberta. But these make up just a tiny fraction of the leases in the area, and an even smaller fraction of all the leases across former Category 2 land. No new mines have been approved yet, but there has been some exploratory work going on in former Category 2 land. These photos were taken in January, near the headwaters of the Old Man and Livingston Rivers, where new roads were being built and heavy equipment was moving in. A bit further south, the Grassy Mountain Mine is approaching a final decision from regulators. This project has been in the works for years, and it doesn't sit on former Category 2 lands, so it's less affected by the change in coal policy. Still, critics worry about its effect on the environment, while many locals are excited for the jobs the mine would create. If approved, this would be the first new mine in southern Alberta in decades, but it might not be the last and the controversy is likely just a preview of what's to come in the Rockies and foothills across Alberta.